say. How long have you been in South Africa? Uh, a week. I don't know how you got your ticket. Just what are you doing in this car, Uli? I, I have a ticket. A first-class ticket. How did you get hold of it? I sent for it in the post. I'm an attorney and I didn't have time There to... are no coloured attorneys in South Africa. Go and sit where you belong. I'll take your luggage back, sir. No, no, no. Just a moment, please. You see? Mohandas K. Gandhi, attorney at law. I'm on my way to Pretoria to conduct a case for an Indian trading firm. Didn't you hear me? There are no coloured attorneys in South Africa. Sir, I was called to the bar in London and enrolled at the High Court of Chancery. I am, therefore, an attorney. And since I am, in your eyes, coloured, I think we can deduce that there is at least one coloured attorney in South Africa. Smart, bloody Kaffer. Throw him. Just move your black ass back to third class, or I'll have you thrown over the next station. But I always go first class. I've travelled all... In the lead up to the 1969 election, he immediately made his debut as the public face of DAP in a great cultural debate with another opposition party, Gurakhan, led by Professor Nagid Alatas. The debate brought him wide recognition, and in the third general election in May 1969, the political novice successfully challenged for a seat in Parliament. It was the first general election the DAP had entered. The party won 13 parliamentary and 31 state assembly seats, securing almost 12% of votes cast. But celebrations were short-lived. Racial tensions flared. Three days after the election, there were riots in Kuala Lumpur. The government imposed emergency rule, and opposition leaders were arrested. I have already agreed to fly over to Kota Kinabalu to help the campaign of the independent candidates because the elections for the Sabah and Sarawak uh, were to be held two weeks later. So all the recent uh, uh, allegations that I was in Kuala Lumpur on May 13, I had to provoke May 13 because of my uh, wild conduct was uh, completely based because I was not in Kuala Lumpur at all. After a successful rally in Kota Kinabalu, he was immediately expelled from Sabah. Supporters urged him not to come back to Kuala Lumpur for fear he would be arrested. I told my party leaders that I will come back. While I told them that I'm not uh, thinking of returning, I felt that uh, having, having been just elected as a member of parliament, when the people are in trouble, how can you uh, just leave them alone and run away? On May 18th, Kitsiang flew home. And at the Subang airport? They were checking the passport of uh, all the passengers who had to queue up for clearance. When it came to my turn, I just asked, uh, you know, a question that was just popped up. I asked, are you waiting for me? They look at me, look at the passport, and say, yes, I'll follow us. So I followed them. Well, I think you are, you, are, you are fired by the sense of injustice. You are, you are, you are fired by the sense of injustice. You are, you are fired by the sense of injustice that you have been a victim uh, 
uh, because of uh, they have done no wrong. So, and that, that this is uh, oppression at its worst, tyranny of the majority. And uh, you're fired by the sense of uh, injustice and uh, I think that kept you uh, going. As the new leader of the party, Kit Siang determined to prove there was a future. He began carving a reputation for tackling issues unflinchingly whenever they arose. He called for a commission inquiry into a hunger strike by over 200 political detainees. He called for abolition of the Internal Security Act. He was convicted under the Official Secrets Act for exposing irregularities in a government arms deal. Highlighted the $2.5 billion BMF scandal. Exposed the North-South Highway privatization scandal and misappropriation of 1.5 billion ringgit of co-op deposits. The uncompromising stance helped the DAP to steady electoral growth. By 1978, the DAP was Malaysia's largest parliamentary opposition party, and Lim Kit Siang continued to be the parliamentary opposition leader for 30 years to come. On October 27th, Police cracked down on political leaders and social activists in a move known as Operasi Lalang. After 60 days, Kit Siang and Guan Eng were both sent to Kamunting detention camp. After about a year, batches by batches of detainees have been released, but not both of them. They were actually the last to be released. These 18 months actually the darkest moments in our family. What Mr. Gandhi has forced us to do is ask questions about ourselves. The function of a civil resistor is to provoke response. It got very hard. First time fear. Second time fear, and still he was determined, third time fear, but he never lost heart. He provides hope to the Malaysians, to people who want to see change in the country, who want a better society, who want to see corruption being unearthed, who want to see scandals being exposed, who want to see the downtrodden to have a voice spoken up for them. Even if he can't single-handedly transform the policy, he's raised very important questions about them. And that, in itself, I think, speaks very highly of him as his contribution. What you cannot do is accept injustice from Hitler or anyone. You must make the injustice visible. In some ways, he was the conscience for the country. He was the conscience of all mankind. Without Kitsian, DAP would not be what it is today. Through 70 turbulent years, ideas formed in Malaysia's first days by the boy who joked of being a politician have helped guide this country on the struggle to nationhood. His has often been a lone voice, yet he has moved a nation, until the values he has unceasingly fought for are now being accepted as at the heart of the nation's future. And Malaysia stands now poised to enter a new era in which diversity, fairness, respect, and openness are valued by all. Albert Einstein said, generations to come will scarce believe that such a one as this, ever in flesh and blood, walked upon this earth. Gandhi, a world event.
the story of one man whose voice spoke out for millions.